Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. Wow. I come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. Yeah. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. Yeah! So he has a reason to save him. Um, yeah, so welcome to not sequence 11, like I said at the end of the last video. Welcome to. Your on the upper level. I think I think the last Desmond mission. I'm not sure though. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This, this was a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just I feel the bad idea like lurking. Look, she's already got her hand on the fucking trigger, the alarm, whatever. It's so weird seeing this place alive though. Um, one thing that I did not know until recently was that the. Uh, Abstergo from Assassin's Creed 1, that was in Italy? I did not know that. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, because those dudes are fucking over there. They're not fucking over there, but they're over there. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. Oh. I would show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Yee, okay, well, I tried not being... High key about it, but the game wants to be high key, so. Wow, that was fucking brutal for Desmond. Desmond should not be, like, used to fucking slip. Dude, Desmond should not be used to that shit. Desmond should be, like, freaking out, dude, legit. Any normal, sane person would be, like, you know, like, in tears. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. Awesome, though. Never mind that, though, he fucked him up. I fucked him up. Pretty good, right? This is what makes me want the modern yeah, Assassin's Creed game that we never got. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Rip. You can drop it, or Where's you can just. Where's my father? Oh. <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Yeah. It's a hatch, right? There's always a hatch, yep. Yeah. I don't know if it's a cliche, it's it's required, right? Yeah, duh. Why wouldn't it be fucking required for elevators to have that shit? What is what if the elevator stops without them wanting to it to be stopped? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's climb. Uh it's probably this side. It's probably this side. Oops. It's probably this side. Is that... Where the hell is he? Let's go. Right here, sucker. Oh my... No! Oh my god!
I, um, that was a little That's bit okay. herpy derpy. Desmond knows where he's at. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I, I had to think about that for a minute. These guys with their fucking service box, they suck, man. Literally. Okay, that's the first guy to hit me so far, so. Look at all these fucking scientists, though, that. We're pro they've probably seen Desmond or know a lot about Desmond, they just fucking watched him fuck shit up. So brutal. I feel like I shouldn't be fucking just killing them. They're just actually no. They're trying to shoot me. So never mind. I was gonna say they're just using their fucking fists and shit. But no, they're pulling out guns. Yeah. This is this is the test. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Give me the apple. Oh shit! I shouldn't. Wow. Okay. No time for nostalgia. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection. <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. What the fuck? Yet. Get out! He's speaking Russian? The hell was that? I'm assuming he's Russian. I don't know, maybe. What the fuck, though? What the hell is going on, Doc? He fucking dipped? Damn, do I gotta chase him? I fucking just scurried past them. I gotta catch this fucking guy, man. Oh shit, Get okay. Out. Get out! Get out! Jesus, man. First of all, he wouldn't be able to do that. Oh shit. Christmas. Oh. When you responded to my hospitality with only a smile. I had hoped we might preserve you and further study your memories. But you're not worth the trouble. He is talking le legit fucking crazy about Desmond right now. Ooh, my leg is fucking hurt right now. Ow. Ah. I have my authorized to use some deadly force. Yeah. How was that? Um, I was chasing that guy for fucking like a minute straight. Dan Cross is uh, definitely like, just the side main villain of Desmond's story. Well, he's dead now. He was juice. He was juice. He's not the sauce villain. Phoenix office is up ahead. I can't wait to revisit this fucking trip down memory lane. You killed him. Hell yeah! That 
it's uh it's so interesting to hear that coming from his mouth because of the culmination. This is it, this is it. This is the culmination of everything that's been happening. Um since the first Assassin's Creed, or in this case, if you've been watching my videos, since the beginning of this whole fucking Assassin's Creed order thing that's been happening. Ugh. Thanks. Well, who are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, that's not fucking good. Um, wow, that's really not good. I have a pistol now. That's good, though. I just don't like these odds. Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Yep. There's the apple. There you go, just point it. That's the apple. That's what comes with the apple. And he wanted it so bad, you know. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why? Well, what's, what's so wrong with that? See? There we go. Everything's all better. I think that was the last Desmond mission. But there's that power supply. So... Where did they get that from? I don't know. They, Abstergo knows way too fucking much. I don't know. Oh my god. People are putting it in their mouths and shit. That's fucking insane, dude. One guy, that jackass over there still has his fucking computer. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, Ubisoft, what are you doing? People are out here popping themselves in the mouth. And that guy's just sitting there like, Oh, I gotta do my fucking tax return thing. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that because uh, we have shit to do. We have shit to talk about. Um, let's just get the conversations hey, out of Desmond, the way. Didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No. He indicated that Washington came into contact with an apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Yeah, I like how, like, snappy Desmond was to, like, defend him because, you know, Clay, I mean, he wasn't, Subject 16 wasn't fucking crazy. He was, but, like, so what was it like not really. Back at Abstergo? You know, I he just got, he got fucked. Alive. Sorry. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's... Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. That's fucking crazy. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'll listen to you. Yeah. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? He's a workaholic, for sure. The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. Cool, so that's her new fucking get the fuck out of my face dialogue. I want to save Sean's conversations for last, uh, only because Williams are gonna. Hello. You know. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? 
I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Yeah, I hear that, I hear that. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Yeah, that's cute for fuck hey. off, right? Oh. So, um, when this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could, you know, come home. I'd like nothing more. Aww. We're almost there, son. Alright, now that's the fuck off moment. At least with Sean, Sean will tell me you just fuck off. I regret so I like asking it. you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000 year old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? Yeah. What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though. I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? <laughs> you certainly got away with words, Rebecca. What did he eat? I don't... Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. Flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Oh, this has hurt my brain. Best we finish up with Connor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. No, we gotta put the power source uh, in. Ooh, I did not even see that there. Wow. I was trying to just get up, get to this little ledge, these stairs right here, but I did not even see those fucking monkey bars. Um, I'm just waiting for the cutscenes. Where the hell? There they are, right there. Oh my god, I haven't seen these in forever. Oh my god. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, 
but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for us. us. Oh my fucking god. You know, they were so advanced in technology, they couldn't have... They didn't have euthanasia back then. She had to stick a fucking dagger down his chest. Jesus. That's a little... That's, that's poetic, man. That's what... That's the stuff that Romeo and Juliet is made of right there. Um, I think I'm going in the right direction. Those are cool, though. I'm definitely going to get those in the video for sure. I don't even know. What are these? These rocks? Look at this shit. This shit gets, like, trippy, man. Definitely don't want to fall down. Um, this game is depressing. Why the f Why do I play it? And the worst part is I'm sitting here and I try to be like funny with this shit too. That's not good. That's not right. That's not sane. Okay, another cutscene. Thank God I can stop talking. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? See, how do you take that seriously? What kind of sentence body, is that? A vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. Yeah. Okay. I'm with it so far. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. To leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? What are they saying? What's she saying about leaving their mind? Dude. One more cutscene? Oh no. That's it? Thank God, dude. I'm, I can't... I'm bad at those cryptic messages. Those, me those messages that Juno gives off, I'm terrible at those. That's the last power source, right? Yeah, I think so. We need that if there's one more. But I don't know where it is. But we need a key, though, still. No, that's the last power source. Yeah, that's it. Now we just need the key. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. That sounds saucy, man. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in sequence 11. Can't wait.